there's like a big creator tournament happening right now. Soda is playing in it. Tectone is here playing in it. Shy Lily, S Fan, Will Neff. Not me. Riddles is going through it when he learned Emmer is a gold Honda. She's actually been an E Honda main for like five years or something through like a bunch of these creator tournaments now she played him in five and she played him in six for like years now like she actually has been a honda main since street fighter five <laughs> i saw uh some people talking about the tournament i don't even know how to describe the comment but basically saying these creator events don't work because like people don't want to play the games and they don't stick around and play after but like i feel like so many people have stuck around and are interested in fighting games now from all of the CR cups that I've watched and all of the slams that we've done. People who are outside the fighting game space who now know like, oh yeah, like Tekken is actually a game and it's fun to watch. Like, did you see what Haitani's viewership was today? For those of you who don't know, like a few years ago, Haitani was just like an old Japanese fighting game god. He's just the guy that we know as a god of fighting games. He's a beast. He's really, really good, right? His viewership watching EWC was like, 35k that's not what you'd expect Haitani's viewership to be Haitani is like a player I expect to have like 500 to a thousand but the fact that he had 35,000 people watching him obviously the people who are interested in CR Cup and who know who Haitani is now these people have all been converted and think Street Fighter is tight and are watching him you know what I mean proof that the format can grab people from outside the space and bring them in and get them interested I thought about doing a video about why the slam did well and like how to make creator events that are fun. I'll use this as a backdrop. This seems like a good thing. Whoop. The problem I see with a lot of these, not really with the ones I just mentioned, but in general, the problem with forming something like this that can happen is you end up with people who are not interested. They just like end up there because they got money to like show up and like play the video game, right? That's kind of just like how it happens. That's why for the slam, you have to go and sign up yourself, right? And then I confirm you early. I make sure everybody plays the game before we ever assign teams or anything. Because one of my my biggest fears, I was watching a Tekken tournament that Bandai Namco did that was like a creator tournament like this. One of the creators was like playing a shooting game like Valorant Apex or something. It was like, oh, it's time for me to go do this Tekken thing. He booted up Tekken. He picked special style. He mashed for like his one match and then he just like closed Tekken. I'm sure clicked uninstall and then went and played Valorant at Apex again. The person just actually doesn't give who fucks about the event at all. You have to have people who are really interested in playing and who are going to put in some time and like vibe and have a good experience doing some gaming because really if somebody's not trying on in any way right it's an individual tournament or if it's a team format if someone's not like playing or putting in time or effort other people are going to be sad the second thing you have to think about is a format that can be fun for as many people as possible the reason we made the format for the slam the way we made it is so that every single person matters the newest player is equal to the strongest player on your team in terms of points so that you naturally build like a team that actually cares about the performance of their teammates and the new players matter. Cause a lot of people would say like, why don't you just have it so that like the way it works is all the way up to the end, like the winner just stays or whatever. Uh, and then you do it like that. The reason that doesn't work is let's say the strongest player is lazy Madman. What his team or what the other team does never matters. And like the first person literally never matters if you're not one of the strongest players you just become demotivated to like grind or play or participate that like completely defeats the purpose of the format if you make a format or a tournament like this you really have to care and understand the genre and listen it's not easy for us to balance teams it takes a lot of time and effort and energy and like sometimes we make mistakes and like some somebody is like slightly higher than they should be or slightly lower the rule for the CJM slam 2 was you must stream the game like one of these two days, we made the teams like a day or two after that and everybody was playing. So we got a chance to see gameplay of every single person in the slam. We also built teams by doing like a survey of like, who are the people you want to team with? Is there anybody you want to beat up or fight against? And what's your preferred coach? And we also asked the coaches like, who's their preferred players? Every single person got either a preferred person on their team, like a player or their preferred coach or both. Looking at some of the other like events like this I've seen, sometimes the teams are just like stuck a bunch of people together and like whatever happens happens right and i saw some frustration for like other games because they're like none of my team has ever played the game or like cares to play and like they've decided they're sacking this game or they're gonna like you know try to go hard on another game and so like i guess i'm just dead yeah i mean watching box box playing the at&t thing and like other people and like league of legends comes up or csgo comes up and like some guy playing janna in the league of legends tournament and he's like, guys, I, I don't know what to do with Janna. What do I do when they like get near us and stuff? They're just like, 
Hit all your buttons. Like, I don't know, just hit every button on your keyboard, man. Poor guy, that is rough. That is not a fun experience of like learning League of Legends, I'm sure. We're only doing one game and it's like hard to balance Tekken teams. So balancing mini games across many things for a format is, three, yeah, really hard. Sick. It's also like, how good do I think someone can be based on watching them play for like 10 minutes? Like what's their trajectory? Like how do they learn? Guessing those things about people is also really hard. And like making sure everybody has a fun time is the ultimate goal. As long as everybody who plays in it has a good time, then that's all I really care about. One thing that comes up a lot and somebody asked me about this, which I thought was interesting. I got a tweet that from someone who's like, I'm like a 50 viewer streamer. And like, I wish there was a chance for someone like me playing Sage Am Slam because I'm just not big enough. Like, I wish you didn't just pick big streamers. I don't know if people know, but the streamers we picked for this Sage Am Slam are much smaller than the last. Not because we didn't get offered big streamers, but just in general, a lot of the people who are interested don't, don't have the same viewership as last time. FD Signifier is like not a streamer. He's like primarily a YouTuber, but like there are some of the people that we got on here that like have less than 100 concurrent viewers. They're just like streamers who play other games or are interested in Tekken and wanted to try it and we got them in. I don't care about viewership. I could pick the 24 most clouded possible people and then not care about anything else and then just do it. But rather, I try to find 24 people who I think would be fun to play in the event, who I think would have a good time, who are interested, and I think all is a good group of people who want the game. And that, that's something that will be the same for any of the slams we do. I'm not like, oh, it has to be this person or that person or whatever. I think for some other events, they probably have more advertisers or sponsors or they have things to hit that they need to like hit a number of eyes or a number of sales and stuff like that. Whereas for me, it's just like, I don't know. If you seem like a cool person, I'm down to have you come join the slam, even if you have 20 viewers, 30 viewers, 50 viewers. Like, it doesn't matter to me. And the other cool thing about it is a lot of the coaches and, and streamers and people who played in it, a lot of them got viewership bumps, especially the Tekken people. I like that a lot. And for me, the, the whole goal of the slam is like, get people interested in fighting games who maybe want to try them or are interested in trying them, but don't have the, the proper way to get in. Because like, imagine if you're one of these streamers and you want to play Street Fighter or Tekken. What's the process? You just like boot up the game. Your chat tries to give you some advice. You're like confused used you play online and ranked and you're like i don't get it man like that's like the whole experience right playing in a format like this you get a coach you have like set times to train for it you have an event to train for it you have other streamers of your same skill level to collaborate with and play against and stuff you have like a, an environment to learn in that's more fun for you and also more fun for your viewers it gives everybody new people to watch that they've never seen and new eyeballs into fighting games for people who've never played before and then some of them afterwards like still play the game and are interested. In fact, I think most of the people on here still play fighting games and are interested in them and have been either streaming Tekken or watching Tekken or streaming or watching some other fighting game in the meantime. Everybody, to be honest, in from both slams is like still interested. And a lot of them have come to tournaments and stuff too. And a lot of them are going to go to Evo. Yeah, James Chen is going to Evo say what? But yeah, the, these events are really hard to put together. So I sympathize with people who organize them. Like doing the, the two slams is a lot of work. The third one, we were talking about and planning during the, the second slam and like we're already working on it. I have a meeting about it next week. Yeah, we are talking about stuff we're going to do at Evo. I think it's very likely that we're going to do something slam related at Evo, like a hangout, like a meetup. I had a meeting today about it, actually. So we'll probably be doing something there. I'll, I'll let you guys know more once we have the idea.